Hey, in this video, we are going to talk about the secret experiments of Team Rocket, investigating Pokemon's darkest theories. So before starting this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel for future updates. Despite its family-friendly image, the Pokemon series has some pretty dark themes hidden throughout its games and the accompanying anime and manga. There are plenty of mysteries too, which has inspired some fans to come up with their own theories and suggestions to explain away some of the inconsistencies and question marks that punctuate the overarching narrative. Some are a lot more plausible than others, although that's not to say that they can't all be true. In all likelihood, fans will never know for certain whether or not these creepy Pokemon conspiracy theories are accurate, but it can still be fun to speculate nonetheless. Number 10. Ditto is a failed Mew clone. This theory states that Ditto was a failed attempt by scientists to try to make a clone of the mythical Pokemon Mew. It is stated in the theory that Ditto was made right before the infamous Mewtwo. There are several reasons that people think that this is plausible. Firstly, they are very similar in color, but not only that, they both have similar shiny forms as well, light blue, and they both weigh 8.8 .8 bulbs. Ditto is just a blob that looks like it could be a failed experiment, but it just couldn't take the actual form of Mew, therefore it stays as its usual blobby self. Another piece of evidence is that both Mew and Ditto are the only Pokémon that learn the move Transform. Number 9. Ditto was made to breed Pokémon close to extinction. One of the most popular theories about Ditto is that it is a failed experiment by scientists to try and clone Mew. But what if that was only partially true? Ditto may be a man-made Pokémon, but instead of it being a failed Mew clone, Ditto was made to breed with extinct Pokémon. This theory makes sense for many reasons. Firstly, in the game, Ditto is mainly used to breed other Pokémon. But in the first Pokémon games, there was an area called the Safari Zone where only some Pokémon were available like Kangaskhan. It is assumed that because those Pokémon were only available in that area that they were close to extinction. Number 8. Mimikyu are dead Pikachu When Mimikyu was released, it got a lot of love for its backstory. It was always said that Mimikyu wanted to be as popular as Pikachu, and it dressed up as Pikachu. This theory dwells deeper into why Mimikyu wanted to dress as Pikachu, rather than just popularity. It states that a Mimikyu is just a Pichu that passed away before becoming a Pikachu, and now that it's moved on, it still wants to evolve. The evidence to back this theory up is that Mimikyu is a ghost-slash-fairy type for the deceased Pichu. Mimikyu also knows the move Thunderbolt and shares multiple moves with Pichu, making the theory make more sense than it should. Number 7. The Pokémon War Killed Many Adults in the Pokémon World in both the show and the game, there are multiple hints at a great Pokémon war that had happened in the past. The Electric Tech Gym Leader Lieutenant Surge talks about battling in the Pokémon war with his Electabuzz. While it is never truly talked about, there is no doubt that something happened, even if it doesn't go into it much. There is no doubt that the war was real, but it would make sense as to why there are not many adults in the Pokémon world and how there are mainly kids around. It is because all of the adults went to war and lost their lives. Number 6. Ash's dad is Pikachu. Ash's dad is never seen throughout the anime. He's talked about by others saying he was a great Pokemon trainer who went out on a great journey, but that is essentially all of the information that is given about him. It is never said that Ash's father is even dead, but he's just not to be heard from. This theory is that Ash's dad was part of an experiment that would transfer a human's mind into a Pokemon's body, but the effects were irreversible. This theory isn't far off from Pokémon's Detective Pikachu movie, while in the manga, a scientist named Bill accidentally switches minds with a Rattata. Number 5. People Eat Pokémon In the real world, humans eat plants and animals. But when do people eat in the Pokémon world? With no real animals around and only Pokémon, it can be assumed that people in the Pokémon universe eat Pokémon. It is known already that people drink Moo Moo milk, which is milk from Miltank, but as far as meat goes, Pokémon doesn't go into much detail about what they eat. In the end, I'm mean, it is shown that Brock makes a variety of dishes, some that even include meat in them. But where does the meat come from? It is clear that there are either animals in Pokémon that aren't shown, or that Pokémon trainers really eat Pokémon for their meat source. Number 4. Pokémon eat Pokémon An even darker Pokémon conspiracy theory suggests that trainers force Pokémon to eat other Pokémon in order to get stronger. This may sound pretty wild at first, until one examines the candy system that's used in Pokémon Go. As those who have played the game will already know, it's possible to send a Pokémon to Professor Oak in exchange for some candy, while the theory goes that the candy players received back is actually made out of the Pokémon they sent. Whether or not the Pokémon was ground up by some industrial machine and compacted into candy form or subjected to some kind of magic candification beam, like the one used by Majin Buu in Dragon Balls, is unclear. Number 3. Kobone is originally a baby Kangaskhan. 
With yet another theory involving Kangaskhan, this one comes with a twist. Kangaskhan is known to be a motherly Pokemon that always care for its young, much like the majestic Kangaroo. If theorists are to be believed though, this bond works both ways when it comes to Kangaskhan, and led to the creation of a brand new Pokemon. The story goes that one day a baby Kangaskhan saw its mother killed by Teen Rocket, and was so overcome by sorrow that it stayed by its mother's body until it decayed. After it decayed, it wore its mother's skull like a hat, thus evolving in a Kubone. Number 2. Dark Pokemon Trading Theory In the Pokemon world, there are many Pokemon that need to be traded in order to evolve into their final form, Haunter to Gengar, Machoke to Machamp, etc. With that in mind, many players have found themselves wondering how exactly Pokemon like Gengar show up in the wild. As far as anybody knows, Pokemon like Jingar and Machamp can evolve that first being traded. Number 1. Every lost child in the woods turns into a phantom. In Phantom's Pokedex entry, it states, These Pokemon are spirits of children who have gotten lost in the forest. While it is very sad to think about, it is also highly possible that Phantom really are just the ghosts of dead children, who got lost and probably died afraid and lonely. Though it's possible to hatch Phantom from eggs, many consider the Pokédex entry to be proof enough, making it one of several Pokémon to share a connection with missing or dead children. What do you think about this video? Do let us know in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.